aha, I'm back. Because I just wanted to end that so that I can just do the editing on Twitch real easily. Uh, yeah, we'll find something to do. It's it's not even midnight yet, for fuck's sake. Like, I don't know what to do with things happening this early. Oh, who's pinging me? Oh, someone's just posting cats at me. Uh, what should we do, guys? Uh, uh, okay, good. Oh, no, that's right. I Like, people sent me some new things I need to try. Like, oh, the looker. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I got this. Shit. Fuck. On Earth. Or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge. <coughs> the Looker? Okay, we got we got some people that want the Looker. We can do that. Let me just retitle my old Twitch page here. Yeah, retitle that. <laughs> Save the videos we just did. See if I can summon Olish. Just in case anyone shows up. Ah, there we go. Press the donut. <laughs> if you can't solve a puzzle, be smarter and try again. Cool. Great. And why are there glory kills for puzzles? Oh man, I didn't I didn't see that hint while I was messing with things. Scam already. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you know, I mean, you can jump in the channel if you want. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got you guys. Yes. Oh, this is already paying off, Guava. Just get back in here. This is this is this is paying off. Get in here. 
Get in here, go out. Oh, oh, just you. Yeah, suck. Oh, son of a bitch. Right, great. Just right as I give up on you. Hey, buddy. Koala. Whatever. <laughs> Figured out, I guess. Hey. So, have you played this? Guava. Guava! Yes, I played this game. It's awesome. Oh, okay. I haven't. Uh, I mean, I, you, I played The Witness. Yeah. Naturally. Good. Yeah. So. It only takes about two hours to get through this. Okay. If I can Outer Wilds gently guide you through, you can maybe even do it in an hour. Hmm. Do not come in. Thank you for your understanding. Oh, I can... Okay, I can just write on that. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so I can't write on everything. But... I can write on this. But, from what I know, is I connect start to end. But... But there's no start or end point, I can tell, on the surface that I can write on. Hmm. I assume that absolutely has to be something later. Wow, what the fuck happened to this chess game that the king is four ranks up surrounded by pawns and bishops like this? Okay, how did this... Oh, there's no jump button. Wait a minute, how did this pawn get in the back rank? Or is, oh, is it or is it meant to be left to right? That'd be even weirder. This chessboard is fucked up. <laughs> you might be thinking way too hard about this. Right? Yeah. Like this would be a witness puzzle, but it's not a uh, the looker puzzle. Yeah. And I mean, there's like a shield here with like one, two, three, and four different quadrants. I'd be like, oh, that's a puzzle, but maybe it's not. Okay. There's a very fancy box here with cords and stuff. And, all right, all right, fine. Uh, that sort of sprint. Oh, hey, I can walk faster. Okay. And I still can't jump. We couldn't jump by the witness. Oh. Uh, There's a six of these. Kublai Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things. No item remains where it was set. No subtitles? If one drops his key in the dirt, way, yeah. he may never re-enter his home. But even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. In not. complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table. A fond memory in your recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head, and when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts, but could not find it. Indeed, the only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Yours truly, Marco. Kublai Khan cocked an eyebrow and declared before his court, Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino. Invisible Cities 2. This time, it's visible. <laughs> what even was this audio log? Okay. Uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of options here to... Uh, yeah, to I guess I guess there isn't. ...that subtitles. Uh, okay. So, da, 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 da. Okay, so is this a starting point? Because... Okay, cool. Oh, I could sure do this whole, you know... Hey, fuck that. Also, I'm glad Snoggy immediately recognized that I was drawing Kong Gary. Huh. Okay. Well, that's... The whole game is inside this courtyard, isn't it? It's pretty... yeah. The whole purpose of this game is to annoy Jonathan Blow, baby. I'd like to assume that the other purpose of this game is to entertain me.
Oh, I see this one's turned on. Okay. Oh, dear. That looks complicated and annoying and fuck that. <laughs> okay, when are they going to stop letting me do that? Well, not here. This one may actually be impossible to solve without doing that. Really? Let's find out. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. This is wholly bisected. Yep. Well, that's gonna be a problem. Can I race? Oh, I can't race. Okay. Uh. Oops. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> uh. He's got just a hell of a kicking foot, I guess, or something there, or you know. He's been watching those triple X DVDs. There you go, it's a field goal. What if I just write the letter for the word end? Well, I don't think it's going to recognize the red text as a, uh, a function, because how would it recognize my shit handwriting? Huh. Okay. The, the solution to this one's pretty good. Okay. Let's uh, erase that. Hmm. Context clues, okay, yeah. Uh, hmm. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, no, yeah, okay. What if it just goes under? No? Uh, hmm. No, I don't think I can perspective puzzle this. Although, I guess I. No. Yeah. Okay, okay, I can't draw on the back of it. No. Wait, really? What if I... Oh. Oh. No? Come on. Oh, you won't let me draw... I thought I could, I could draw out of the frame and go up and over. Like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that would have been cool. Because it's weird that I can draw on this. Is this it? I just, just fill in the cable with roughly the same color. It is weird that you can do that. It doesn't seem to work. all at once, though. But how do I turn the camera? Well, I think you can... Oh, I see. Ah, okay. Aha! Oh. Is this actually a real puzzle this time? I think it is. <laughs> Shit. Could you just maybe not, like, break every time I... hit a corner or something? Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Here, let's try it the old other way. Go backwards. I used to do this a lot when I was a kid. God, if only I wasn't dysphoric. You got so many line breaks that you gotta fix. Yeah. I feel like that should be working now. Yeah, uh, bottom right is there's a break. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Got there eventually. Huh. Oh, this one's great. Yeah. <laughs> where's the end point? Huh. 
Beep. What? Beep. Did, is the game just beeping at me? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's hot and cold. The best part is when I was doing this, I got a text from my wife beep. downstairs. The text just read beep. <laughs> beep. 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 Joint star. More like You're right Jet there. Star. I mean, beep. You're, You're right beep. there. <laughs> beep. Come on. Beep. 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 Oh. He's just fucking with me, isn't he? Beep. Well, that sounded sadder. Beep. Beep. <laughs> Beep. Does that sound like me going beep? Beep. 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 No, Guava would be going beep for balls in my mouth. <laughs> beep. 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 It's just like, oh, you're right beep. there. Beep, yes, beep. <laughs> okay. That's so good. Uh, this seems too easy. What's wrong with actually doing this? Well, I mean, it doesn't say start and end. And yet it still works. Ah, uh, who's... Oh. I mean, it's solved. You, you did it. Yeah, you, know, you said it didn't say start and end, so, you know. Through many births, I have wandered on and on, searching for and never finding Better deal than 0% APR on certified pre-owned vehicles. For trucks tougher than a drunk marine come to Mike's Pre-Owned, where we do the things that get things done. Oh, for fuck's sake, the chess is a, uh, a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, the fucking power cord goes to it. Okay. Okay. Fine. Where is the uh, start and the end then? So I didn't say. If I connect the S to the E. Now. Before you go in there, there's just a few more things. Like, if you go kind of straight down across the chessboard. I mean, also, how did I solve that? I don't know, you just have to draw in a lot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, continue checking the chessboard, you say? I uh, know, straight across the chessboard. Oh, uh, that? Straight that way into the bottom, like, like top left corner. Not, not down there. Up those stairs. I don't yeah. think you went in this room. I oh, I I had, but this cord had not been turned on yet. Okay. This game is called The Looker. It is a parody of The Witness, and it is free. Um, I think now you're. There. There's two other things down here. The other, this kitty corner to where you just were. There's some. Oh. Hint. Go on, get. Don't look at me. Can you hear me? I'm nothing but a rusty chunk of steel. You don't want nothing to do with me. 
All right, all right. Now I'll tell you my story. Oh no. It was June the 8th, 1947, <laughs> gray morning, slightly foggy. I had my own practice then, and I was living higher than a cosmonaut on a stepladder. <laughs> my hints were subtle too, real subtle. Back then, they said, good old hint button. His hints could steal the tail off a weasel. Then they tossed me in the can. No what, no why, no how. Those were the mean times. When all the common sense in the world won't make a nickel to buy you a black coffee. I used rope to tie my pants and pants to tie my shoes. I may do the way a man does until one day. After stealing the socks off a fireplace, I caught my own look in a puddle of bootleg rye and realized I had to do what I'd never done before. I gave myself a hint. So that's me. I was nothing but a downtown crumb who dreamed of being a whole sandwich. <laughs> now I'm just another sloppy Joe. Come back when you got something. <laughs> okay. That was unexpected. Uh, no, I did update this stream title and everything. <coughs> okay, uh, so that was, yeah, an experience. Uh, okay, so this corner, which leads to the chessboard. Behind you. What about? In the little area, there's oh. another hint button on the wall. Oh, a newer, fresher hint, and also this cord that just kind of goes into the earth. Look, it's free game. Not all the textures are going to line up properly. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, uh, <laughs> yeah? Sure. Yeah, it's Pac-Man eating the hint. You can do it. Oh, okay. You're just less of a hint and more of a uh, motivational button, eh? I believe in you. Hey, Guava, what if I drew this symbol? Would it mean anything to you? Mm. This is all you. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah, there's a trick to it, but you've got it. Yeah, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you can't do it. Oh, no. Maybe you're weak. Whoa! Maybe you're stupid. Jesus. You should be embarrassed, but you keep crawling back like a mewling calf at my chafing teat. Pathetic. Wow, that fucking turned. <laughs> you can do it. Oh, okay. okay, it just loops at that point. Oh, okay. uh, you can go in the door, yeah. Jesus. Draw a mustache on him or something. What the hell? Uh oh. Oh, is this the part where we get like Doki Doki Literature Club? I don't know what that means. I don't want to know what that means. Uh, Doki Doki Literature Club was a game. No, I don't want to know what that means. Where it was like, oh, this is a Japanese visual novel and you're going to have waifus and whatever. And then it's like, People start dying and things get weird, but every like everybody treats it like everything is still normal and you're still in a happy anime dating game. I mean, I, I, I roughly know. I don't. Also, does it mean is there like a kind of a ominous scorch mark at this end of the hallway? You're fine. I don't like that. <laughs> ah.
This isn't gonna work. This is just a game about drawing lines. It's not spooky. Um, I can't. Oh, can I make the make the blood drip past the boundaries? And touch there, okay. Yep, yep. What? <laughs> okay, um. So this is absolutely where we get Doki Doki Day. What? <laughs> Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Expensive. Please do not scratch. Thank you. I did the same thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, okay. Suck it, line puzzle, I guess. these things that could potentially be line puzzles. Man, I still wish I had some fish and chips. No, try putting some more loops on it. <laughs> okay. Not really. I like it, but it's also kind of too red. You actually can solve this. Just what you to know. Yeah, no, I just I need some blue. Why don't I have blue? How do I get how do I get blue? You can have red on it, just not too much red. Oh, okay. That's very original. It simply must have more loops. This isn't the MoMA. We can afford more loops. Could you, um, draw less? It just needs more red, I think. Oh, for fuck's sake. Now you have too many loops. I like loops too, but this is too many. I can tell you're trying to say something about capitalism, but do it with more loops. <laughs> but two is too few, and three is too many. I'm starting to wonder if it's not about that, and the fact that they get torn up and put in the trash bin is more important somehow. <laughs> Is the solution actually some sort of measurement of drawing and not just... I don't know. It might just be until until he stops talking. Right. There is a uh, thing on the... Or an uh, audiobook behind you. Whatever those things are. Oh, yes. Imagine gravity is fractal. Because light is just a wave and gravity is just a wave. So imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism so that there's like blue gravity and yellow gravity <laughs> and then somebody gets hit by the red gravity and it makes them super heavy so they have super strength but like they're also really slow and another guy gets hit by microwave gravity so he's trying to zap everybody and just when he's about to zap the main guy we see a lady come out 
and she turns out to be ultraviolet girl, and she has super speed, so she beats him. And it, like, also gave her giant cans. <laughs> Thomas Pinchon, Gravity's Rainbow. <laughs> okay. I like a, a head face. Cool. It's also a cave for giant cans. The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link between quantum and classical so that we can have a single reality whose laws and rules are united at some deeper level. This brings us back to prayers. Let's say that a prayer is a classical oh, oh God. and feels like one. Oh God. You, a oh. unique individual, Why have a particular request, which you voice oh. in words that no one else is speaking at that instant. What if this classical event gets processed at a non-local level? The notion isn't far-fetched because it seems that the mind-body link does consist of fluctuations at the quantum level. If this is so, then any thought, not just a prayer, has quantum implications. Deepak Chopra, A Spiritual Mystery, Does God Listen to Prayers, Part 2. Okay. You got the achievement for blinding yourself? Good yeah, job. yeah, thank you. Um, uh, you're kind of done up here, you can go down the stairs. Oh, I can't, the like, other door. start anything here. I can't, like, I was thinking I had to turn the little display thing to change where the sun was to activate the solar panel. Yeah, you gotta dumb yourself down a little bit. I'm, I'm running fucking too high class. This is the look Yeah, you're, you're thinking wind. a little too hard. <laughs> I was always... I always wish I could have actually enjoyed Mist when it came out, but I was, like, yeah. 10 or something, and I was just like, I don't understand anything! Yeah, it's rough. A ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. He put his trust in Providence, and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders and in such ways, oh, yes. he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. <laughs> and he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. <laughs> what shall we say of him? Surely this, that his belief in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief. It is admitted that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel, but even this confidence was misplaced, for these were the selfsame charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on, and Big Ship is also trying to get one over on the little guy. Further, we may see that the ship is religion, and the shipwright is Richard Dawkins. <laughs> the crewmates are empiricism, and the barnacles are neoplatonism. The captain of that ship was Albert Einstein. What the hell was I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> really, really mocking the Joe Blow uh, audio log. Right? Oh, it, it absolutely nails them. Oh, Speaking uh, of absolutely nailing things... Uh, not that shot, apparently. No. Didn't realize I had to be quite so precise. Somewhere. Yep, uh, just because you're here, you want to go back a little bit? Just save yourself some backtracking. No, I kind of wanted to see if I could shoot myself. 
I don't, I don't think it's going to work out too well. You saw one thing, you, you like scribbled a bit and then gave up, but you, you can't solve it right now. Yeah. The, the one right here. Yeah. I also uh, saw this. You can only get good at chess if you love the game. Grandmaster Bobby Fisher. Oh, okay. Well, I thought maybe it would be like, ah, I can play it from here and then something, something hint. Well, you're supposed to be in front of it to play that. But... Okay. No. Okay. I hate chess. I hate chess. I hate chess. World champion, Bobby Fischer. <laughs> okay. And I'm just hungry again. Aha! Actually, have to draw that one like a knight's move. No, I don't think so. Okay. But I, I believe you did that one. No. Yeah. I haven't fed my cat there. Like, hey, normally you feed me like two hours ago. Yeah, feed them. Uh, well, that's still close. Is there an audio log on the table back there? Uh, where? Well, about hating Bobby Fisher. It's possible. You may have missed one. Blow with Candor, the manager. Not only is the novice unable to perceive the board as the master does, but the master cannot perceive the board as the novice does. A master cannot see the bishop on e3 as a chunk of dead wood any more than you can look at your best friend's face and see a meaningless matrix of colors and shapes. The master once saw the board like this, but now there is no going back. International Master Stuart Rachels, The Reviled Art. Oh man, we gotta power up the arcade. This. Not gonna be this easy. Yeah, okay, sure, sure it is. Ah, uh, I see, and we're back here. We're done, yeah. Fuck. Uh, I was a little bit stuck on this point. You yeah. do have to power up the arcade. Okay. Well, I mean, I assume that means we need the, uh, the the solar power to be functional. You can you can do it from inside the arcade. I can do it from inside the arcade. Uh, those diagonals are not lines. Yeah, I, I realize that in pixel. Okay. 
plan would be helped if I, I had slightly better mouse control. Eh, janky mouse is part of the game. need to hit a certain number of the lines. Yeah, they're the same every time. The lines? I mean, the S's and the E's. Oh, yeah? They're in the same place every time. Oh. So I could have been learning. What if I cover up where an S or an E would normally be? Uh, it just appears there, I guess? Ah, I see, yes. <laughs> Fuck, memory tests. I'm not very good at those. Really? Have the first one start by going like up to the top left, yeah, and then right just... and down to the E. Not much more after that. Just go from the... Okay. Always going to fuck me. Have the first one be like an upside down U.
I think I have this one. Sadly, no. Looking at the rest of the room, Jesus. Uh, start to end. Except it's backwards, so maybe end to start. Or it's just it's gonna undo what you're doing because because yeah, it's ponytail. Because it, wait, I, mean, I was gonna say braid. But yeah, yeah, so. that, that, yeah, you got it. for the achievement. Oh, fuck that.
Oh, and we're here. Cool, that's right. And now we turned the solar... Whoop, no. Solar panels above us. Okay, we've done it. Hooray. Can I, uh, can I get this over there and then look at a laser beam through a telescope directly into my eyes? No, sadly no. Oh shit. Oh, there's special symbols and stuff that probably don't mean anything. Touch symbols then. Oh, what if I touch just the gold ones? This is what? Hmm. I mean, at least the witness would, like would give you a simple puzzle so you could start to intuit what these things mean. Yeah, maybe there's a, maybe there is a simpler puzzle somewhere else with symbols on it. Is there somewhere I haven't been yet? Yes. Oh. Where would that be? Flavor Town. Flavor Town. <laughs> okay, so what am I looking for? Arrowhead, tulip, hourglass, moon. Three thingies, Starfleet. Okay. I did see those around here somewhere. The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link between quantum and classical, so that we can have a single reality whose laws and rules are united at some deeper level. This brings us back to prayers. Let's say that a prayer is a classical event, or feels like one. You, a unique individual, have a particular request, which you voice in words that no one else is speaking at that instant. What if this classical event gets processed at a non-local level? The notion isn't far-fetched, because it seems that the mind-body link does consist of fluctuations at the quantum level. If this is so, then any thought, not just a prayer, has quantum implications. Deepak Chopra, A Spiritual Mystery, Does God Listen to Prayers, Part 2. symbols like that or that might give me context. I believe in you. Okay. Oh. Hello. I was about to talk to Trash Hand. <laughs> Salty cat. I'm sure Gravity's Rainbow actually is about Ultraviolet Girl and her huge cans. <laughs> oh god, pulled long pork wrap? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't clue in on that one the first time. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Okay. I guess 
there's more to go before we uh, understand the, the tower puzzle. Where you get the symbols, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> this totally would be a line puzzle in the witness. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is a line puzzle in the witness. I still like how the first three things I drew were, in order, a dick, uh, an abstract loss edit, and Congary. <laughs> I saw you drawing that dick. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I he understands already. <laughs> I need I need to be here with this with him for this. What's the point of having freeform line puzzles if you don't just draw dicks on it everywhere? is in fact not the goal. And there's a line puzzle somewhere in the middle here that I need to do. Yeah, like it's that. That's your thing on the other side of this edge. There's something there. Not sure I can reach it though. Yeah, this, uh, I think we've just gone around it. Yeah. Yeah. No, maybe this. Aha. Beep. Yeah, be <laughs> yeah, thanks. Check out this dude whose asset it looks like they totally stole from for the king. As long as it was free from somewhere. Huh. I see. So this is the, the Tula indicator. We don't really have a whole lot of option here. Okay, so going through the tulip is good. The two diamonds is good. I'm over there. This is the looker. Going through the moon and the hourglass is good. And let me guess. Uh, here, let's just try to fuck this up. Not go through the star. Okay, did I just actually fuck this up? Or... There you go, I had a gun around the corner. Okay, something different happened this time. Well, the game has taught me it recognizes when I do loops, and there was a door that didn't like loops. Nope, okay. What if I get one and not the other? Is this? There it goes. Okay, so purple was good. What about if I just ignore the diamonds? No. Ignoring the diamonds is bad. Okay. Yeah, okay, so 
so that's bad. Wait, that was bad. Oh, it's an order of operations, maybe. Hold on. So let's confirm that. What was it? Hourglass and then moon. It was bad. Okay. But moon. Then hourglass. It's good. It's not easy to draw a perfectly straight line on this. That's kind of the point, almost. Uh, so what did I just learned? It was purple and then hourglass. Okay. Oh, there's an order of operations. Fuck. Oh, this is going to require me to remember something. And that's or for your friend Guava moment to write things down for you. Yeah, I guess. Well, it seems like purple is priority with purple. I don't think so. Purple. Green, brown. Oh, so. Purple, green, brown. Uh, purple, green, slightly brown? No. Shape first. Fuck. Ah. There's only one. So are you now just giving me the solution game? Okay. Circle. Crescent. Starfleet-ish triangle. That thing. That thing. Oh, I can barely even see what that really is. And then two squares. And then what? Okay. Sake. There it goes. And then it starts over, I guess. Okay, so now you know. I think I get it. Could have just had the last one at the start, but, you know, whatever. Mm. Then you wouldn't m maybe have quite known that it was an order of operations thing. Yeah, that's true. I think the spade should come before, or the duck foot should come before the spade. Do you? Yeah. Moon would be first, then Starfleet, then duck foot. Well, then what are you on? 
because uh, I just thought it was the number of sides. Spade is seven. Seven what? I guess still seven sides, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, it still works out. This is still six, that's still eight. Yeah. Second job was Berserker. Well, have fun, Olish. That's still gonna entrap. No, it's, it's whoop, it, well, until I accidentally did that, there was a way to get back to that. But maybe that's not good. Okay, hold on. So I need to go from here to here to here. There, there, and then there. And then there. Without crossing over lines? Or maybe not even. But if I can do loops, how would it know, like, an order of operations? Does the game understand that I'm doubling back on myself? Or does it just care which one I move over? I mean, like, the little balcony thing was like, don't overlap your lines. To be honest, I'm not sure, but it is possible to solve without overlapping your lines. Oh! Well, it didn't like that. Okay, so maybe I do have to not overlap my lines. Okay, so from here then, how do I get to there without making something inaccessible? Go around this way, touch that, then go around to this to that around to this around to that then this is going to be cut off So I obviously have to go to the outside path, I think, here. If I go around this way, watch that. Yeah, maybe that'll work. Now down to hourglass? Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, I think I wanted to go here and then down to hourglass. Well, okay. Oh. Uh. Hmm.
actually overthinking it. Well, I'm assuming I, A, know the order, and B, can't overlap. So I don't know what else there is there is to do. Yes, hourglass is six. So this guy is like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Unless, again, I don't actually have how these things are supposed to be ordered. You, you do. Okay. thinking outside in maybe I should have been thinking inside to outside I thought that was good. Hourglass is before spade? Why would hourglass be before spade? Uh, uh, spade is seven points? What do you mean by points? vertices between the lines. I mean, we could go back to the stupid book and... Or you could just try it. Yeah, I mean, you're here. Uh... Alright, then try, what is it? Moon, Starfleet, Duck, Hourglass, Spade, Gamma thing? So this... Duck than hourglass? Then duck hourglass, yeah. Remember what game you're playing? Huh. Okay. Oh, do we get to start drawing on the world now? Oh, it looks like we already have. With, you know, the power. 
Okay, sure. Nope, because the power lines are an obstacle. Okay. Son of a bitch. So is the... Great. So what... And I draw... Can I use the power lines then? Promising, but then it seems to stop here. Okay, no, okay, there we go. Power line worked. Where does this go? Of course, the up here. Some sort of piece of green thing there. I guess I can color along the white line. No, I can't. seem like I can leave this corner of the parasol. Unless the power line counts. In which case, this is then continuous. Maybe start that again. You kind of you kind of lost about halfway through. Oh really? Yeah. So maybe not the uh, over this gap. Yeah, you yeah that part there. Yeah. It is a little finicky. Okay, so Make we're sure here. Your line is nice and thick. Yeah. And we're here. Yeah. This is the part where I'm not so sure anymore what counts. Got it. Do I have to turn the laser off? No. Okay. Well, I was trying I to, but I can't. I can't draw up the laser. <clears throat> Oh, I see. Here we go. There we go. There's a couple of line breaks, but... And across the laser, I think there's a little line break. The obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of knowledge. I do appreciate so, that the final solution sort of looks like a cock and balls. Stones of reflection. Oh, wait, it's a giant cock. <laughs>
That took you too long. <laughs> it wasn't perfectly formed, you know. <laughs> I was trying to solve that, and I got halfway through, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm drawing a penis. <laughs> and, then, and then the other half was easy. <laughs> and yeah, the when I saw the very first thing you drew in this game, yeah. I'm like, okay, I need to be here for this one. <laughs> I, so, I solved the final solution with the first puzzle. And with the very first puzzle, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty great. <laughs> That, that really is a work of art there. That just... Absolute genius. Just my mind perfectly solved this game without realizing it at the first try. <laughs> uh, two hours of training slash game for one dick joke. I mean, there were some other good mm. jokes along the way. <laughs> oh, excuse me. the achievement for getting 600 points oh, there's correct. also one more that you probably should get we'll load the game back up oh, just because it's funny okay. oh, i was in a coma the whole time <laughs> whoever did this has got to be some kind of whiz with a computers oh. oh oh can i oh i can't oh or i can Good stack of pennies. <laughs> I would never hurt you. Let's see. Easy one. Uh. Oh, it's even unlocked success. How's this? Nerd shit. Nerd shit. Now that's a book. Ah, one more puzzle before retirement. And it, it fourth closes your game. Fourth closes your game. Okay. Uh, load it back up for a sec. Okay, sure. <laughs> the the one the one other joke I I don't think you saw then. <laughs> All right. Uh, um. There it goes. Left click while up close to a puzzle to perform a glory kill. Okay. I okay. I never saw these. <laughs> you didn't just sit on the main menu while you were figuring out your OBS no, stuff I, and I see a whole bunch of loading clips. Yeah. yeah uh, no. <laughs> I mean, it is stupid, but it's also genius. This is Ava Developer's Cherish Creation. Oh, hello, cat. I heard that. Mm -hmm. He's a real hungry cat. Press the shift key to walk faster. That's, that's a real that's, tip. Yeah, that, that's a thing I did. Right click takes a puzzle. Also a real tip. I mean, it does prevent me from, like, squiggling and having line breaks, Nigel, yes. Um, okay, just go to where you started the game. Okay. Did I not look behind my starting position? You didn't. I guess there is kind of a hint there. Oh, 
Oh yeah, we can take it. Hey, cool, it keeps my solutions too. So this was a loss edit until okay, I actually yeah. had to solve it. <laughs> and there's you solving the game at the start of the game. <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's good times. That's the looker. You're done. Okay. Okay, I needed to be asleep like two hours ago. Okay, well, good job. Thanks for, thanks for the help. Gotta go. Okay, you're cool. home. <laughs> okay, that was good times. That was. Oh, yeah. good. It's just a clip of the ending because I really want to see that again. <laughs> The obelisk of knowledge. Of knowledge. The obelisk of okay, knowledge. I actually got to go before I pass out. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to listen to the obelisk of knowledge. Sounds good. See you later. Okay, buddy, kid. Final solution sort of looks like a cock and balls. Stones of reflection. Oh, wait, it's a giant cock. <laughs> <laughs> I think I feel like obelisk of knowledge is now going to be my preferred euphemism for a dick. I'm gonna have to remember to try to work that in. <laughs> oh wait, there's a joke. Speak of it, possibly obelisk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it wouldn't be too hard to get a cleaner audio sample of me maybe not giggling over it. Still a cat up there. Yep, still a cat. <sighs> All right, well, it's it's 1 a.m. I guess Olish is suffering in uh, five job fiesta hell because... The first job he can be is a berserker. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go look at that and see if that is in fact what's happening over there. No, he is offline. Although uh, he did have a 30 minute of stream. From yesterday. Oh. What really? I'm looking at your Twitch page and it looks like you're offline, buddy. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well then, fine. <laughs> I still really appreciate the looker just <laughs> ending with a dick joke. Uh, oh, man. Oh, and it's free. I need to get everybody I can to play this game. Holy shit. Well, I mean, yes, Olish, we understand that you're stuck with four berserkers. That's why we want to watch. To see the suffering. <laughs> yes, thank you, Frank. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Still thinking about cock and balls a little bit. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Alright, well, I guess if Olish doesn't want to pick up uh, letting us watch him suffer for a job, Berserker Risk Frenzy, uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna cut out and uh, wind down for the time. But uh, thank you for enjoying Contradiction and uh, the, the Looker. 
Uh, good times. Good times. <laughs> oh, wait, it's a giant cow. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, that's so good, though. <laughs> uh, okay. Ah. Uh. <laughs> what do you got for me? Marshall Mathers, an M&M &M donut? Or is this just like a Bieber ball, but like an American celebrity donut? I don't like the idea that I think what down there in the bottom left is Oh Captain, My Captain, which appears to be a donut covered in Captain Crunch. Boot drives. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. That was a good night. Oh, we had uh, we had some good janks. Uh, we <laughs> we spent eighty minutes getting to one giant dick joke. Uh. <sighs> I'll see you guys tomorrow night.